Hi, I'm not Bubbles, and this is the first of what I hope to be a lot of lesser known games. This one, well, I'm not entirely sure how well it does. It's got a following, but this is on Epic. It's the story of, well, you'll see. A uh, quick disclaimer before I start playing. There is adult language and it's goofiness and plenty of stuff that makes it inappropriate. It's not too bad, but keep that in mind and if you that's something that's going to be an issue with you, you might want to think about watching another video. That being said, let's get started. Let's choose a name. Let's, let's go not bubbles. Alright, as you can see I've given this game quite a bit of a playthrough. It's it's a lot like old Castlevania games. And for the first time I'll be playing on Hard Plus Plus. But there's lots of throwbacks okay. and... When you enter the dungeon, two oh, skeletons gosh. with rusty axes block your way. The eerie red light that glimmers in their eye sockets watches you fixedly. What do you do? I load my elven bow and shoot! Whoa, 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 hang on. Are you really shooting an arrow at a monster that can't bleed? What do you think will happen? That the arrow gets stuck between its ribs and slows it down? Hey, it works in video games. <laughs> Moron! The best RPGs let you use common sense. Come on, step aside, and let a cleric work. I take my holy symbol and I turn the undead. Get back to the pit from whence you came, evil creatures! Roll a d20. A blinding light appears inside their skulls. Both skeletons scream, and their inert bones fall to the ground. Take that! Two skeletons in one shot! God, God! Okay, I approach quickly to see if they carry any loot. As you approach them, you step on a loose tile, you hear a click, and a spear springs up just under your feet. Fog, I sprung a trap. I got a saving throw, right? Eric, pass me the chips. Hey guys, let's take a break. I have to pee. Again? Huh, <laughs> fucking beer! Into the hall, left door, light switch is outside. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. Bastards, you switched off the light! I'm peeing in here! Okay, you asked for it, but I can't aim in the dark. Fuck, I can't see anything. What the hell? Where's the toilet? I don't get it, I was just peeing in it. Oops, I think I just pissed on the floor. Let's see if I can find the door. Nope, this is a wall. Wow, this wall is rough. I'd swear that it had wallpaper on it before. Nothing. I can't find the door, and this is definitely not a bathroom. I got a bad feeling about this. I'd better light my lighter. At least I'll see something. Find the lighter in your inventory. Once you find it, select the Equip option. To open and close the inventory, press Inventory. So, there we go. What's this? Stone walls, columns, darkness. Where the hell am I? Of course, those bastards must have put some sort of psychotropic shit in my beer. I'm having a hallucination. Cool, it almost looks real. I like how darkness was on his list of things, because darkness isn't found anywhere. What's this? There's something ahead. It looks like... Holy shit! A skeleton! I'm imagining things. Maybe it's Ricky's grandma taking a nap. I could see her as a skeleton. Or maybe it's Chester Copperpot. Does he have a key? Can't hurt to check. Ouch. Damn! This place is crowded with traps! Oh, I get it. The hallway, the skeleton, the trap. 
I'm imagining myself in an RPG. Then I must be in a dungeon or castle that my subconscious has created. Okay, while the drug's working, I get to be the player in my own RPG. Cool! I'll compete against myself, even if I've never been a dungeon master. Yeah, whatever shit they put in my beer is really amazing. I'd better draw a map so I don't get lost. Press map to see the map. You can place notes on the map by clicking on an area. Don't do drugs, kid. But yeah, this is on Epic. It's a Metroidvania style game. Oh, Bear with me, it's been a while since I've played. Hmm, looks like we have a guest, and he is unarmed. Um, no, 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 I was just leaving. Of course not. Let me offer you my hospitality. Um, hey, I don't want to be a bother, okay? Fear not. It will be no trouble to possess your soul and make you an eternal inhabitant of this castle. What? No! Shit, that was scary. That shadow thing pounced at me. Wait a minute. Where did it go? This is not possible. There is no faith in this soul. I cannot control this body. I hear that voice inside of me. Holy shit! I've been possessed! Damn it! I can't escape! I am trapped within this body, in this prison of flesh! I'm possessed! I'm possessed! Why the hell do you go around possessing people, huh? When I possess a soul, I can gain control of its body and I can do whatever pleases me! Gross. Yeah, but it didn't work with me, did it, you some bitch? Ha! <laughs> Fuck you! Stupid creature! I just have to wait patiently for your death. Then I will be free again. In this place, it won't take too long. Yeah, whatever. In a couple of hours, the drug will wear off anyway, so you don't scare me. But yeah, there's lots of references to games, things like that. Look at these corpses. In days of yore, they were creatures who dared to enter the castle. Now their bones are a testament to their bravery. Yours will join them soon. Such a happy guy. Hey, a sword! Finally! It must have belonged to this corpse. Hey, Dark Smoke Guy, you're lucky, you know. If I had this sword before, I could have split you in two pieces. <laughs> Do not make me laugh, mortal. If thou weren't so stupid, thou would know that I have no body and no weapon can harm me. But in video games, I killed hundreds of ghosts with a sword. A world where shadows and spirits can be hurt by ordinary weapons? Not only are you stupid, but also a liar. Uh, shut up. I'm taking my sword anyway. To collect the sword, get close to it and press action. Then, to equip it, find it in the inventory and select Equip. Hooray! Sign a shortcut. Just to make it easier to switch between weapons. Oh. Boom! Look at all this loot! I'm rich! Gold is, what, nearly two grand an ounce? With just one of these coins, I could buy the new console. Jeez, I'm an idiot. This is all a hallucination, damn it. It's like when you dream that you win the lottery and wake up with nothing. Take some coins. You could buy powerful artifacts and deadly weapons. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're waiting for my death to be free, aren't you? Why would you give me advice? Stop asking foolish questions. Look carefully at how these coins shine. Yes, shiny coins. If you wish to collect part of the treasure, stand over it and press action. 
Spoilers. If you do, you die. Go back. Thou left your coins. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Thanks anyway. Press menu to open the menu and access to all its options. Whee! But yeah, it's your. It. Oh. oh, a snake! It's enormous! And shit, that motherfucker's as tall as me! Press attack to attack. Edged weapons like swords kids. are especially effective against living creatures. Also, don't fight giant snakes with swords. Snake! 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 A if chest. anybody gets the reference, and where there's a chest, you there's get a cookie. Loot. Press action when in front of the chest to open it. Should it contain anything, press action again to pick it up. I can't physically give you guys cookies, so if you got the reference, just go buy a cookie. You have my permission. But yeah, there's lots of throwbacks to games like that, hmm. lots of silly bosses. There are some barrels like here. Looks like they've been here for a long time. They're rotten. That means they're meant to be broken. Maces and axe. Basically, inanimate objects are better to be hit by. Swords are better against living things. Maces are again better for like suits of armor, barrels, that kind of thing. It's a semi-realist. Another kick. snake. Let's make some snake steaks. To swap between. Let's see, sword does thirteen. Make says more. Yay, I got a bow. Who doesn't like a bow? Oop. Not what I wanted. Sign the shortcut. That's all. A torch. I don't know why that wasn't voice acting. But yeah, it's nice to give you an idea. So much talking. Oil lamps. Hope if Belmont doesn't show up and start putting them out with his whip. Press action when in front of a lamp to light it. If you got that reference, then this is definitely hey, a game. Young Smokey Dude, what's your name? For you. I have no name. How's that work? The Lord of this castle has no name? You are mistaken. I am not the lord of this castle. I am a shadow, and my task is to protect this place. You're just a minion! One of those one-hit-point wonders! If I had a pinch of the immense power of my lord, I could destroy you just like that. Well, Shadow Guy, this castle and your master are figments of my imagination. Let's say that I am the great creator of everything. And in a while, everything will disappear, and then no one will have to be destroyed, just like that. You, a pathetic creature of meat and bone, the creator of everything. <laughs> Are you a liar or a fool? Whatever, but I'm gonna give you a name. Names mean nothing to me. Let's see. What about Zero? It's what I lovingly call one of my favorite characters. Do not dare call me that. As you wish, Zira. By the way, I haven't introduced myself. I care not. I'm known as Strider, but my real name is Aragorn, son of Arathorn, and I'm the rightful heir to the kingdom of Gondor. Damn. I'm trapped in the body of a fool. Are you calling me foolish? Who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? But yeah, if you get that reference, you don't get anything. Everyone should get that reference. But yeah, basic rules. Destroy everything. Search everything. 
Despite everything, that's a new one. It is recommended to assign a shortcut to healing potions. To search for a potion in the middle of battle is suicide, because the game is not paused when you're in the game menu. When you use a potion, you keep the empty vials. They could be useful later. You eventually learn how to make potions. Crouch when near an edge to illuminate the area below. So, so you go bloop, and then you see that there are bear traps. So yeah, these are metal balls. Don't use your sword. Weapons don't break or anything, it's just, it's just a manner to save time. And if you do this with a sword, you will be here a while. Doop, doop. Yeah, I've always Magic essences are used to cast spells and create potions. It is a good idea to keep these for later. Spoilers, you get magic. Oh no! Here's the plan. This, I am going to not suck this time. That's the new pl battle plan. Gonna be a little more patient and go. Wazam! Ah! Gonna make it! Knock on wood. I am the best. Slash. No. I'll, I'll, I'll settle for not first. But yeah, this here is a door. Magic essences are used to cast spell. Yeah, weird for that to pop up now. But yeah, that's a door. This is the door keyhole. You need. I need key to the sewer. Say something I like about this is you can type if you click on in there you can put notes here. So I can put sewer key needed there. Now if I ever click on that room, it just it can pop up. It's got a little symbol letting me know there's a note there. That way when I do grab a key, I'll know what where it goes. So Sewer and garden. Sewer key needed and garden. Perfect. There we go. I'm finally... By the gods of Cobol. What is this thing? It's a magical prison. Within lies one of the pure spirits of Harnikin. There's a spirit locked in that box? What, like a rival god? You're mistaken, fatuous mortal. The spirit within is under the command of the great master. Really? Why is it locked up? It is a pure spirit. It cannot exist in this plane. The box isolates and protects it. However, it can communicate through that beam of light. Wow, must be an important guy. What's he do? I will not reveal that information. No? Okay, I'll ask it myself. You? <laughs> Foolish mortal! He will never talk to an insignificant slug like you. Really? We'll see. Okay. Antaro Adun. Who is he? Can't you tell? I've possessed this body to carry out an important mission for my great lord Harnakon. 
You filthy liar! On Korobash, it's been a long time. What is this body you've taken? I haven't seen a being like this. This body I've taken belongs to a privileged race. The humans. In that case, I shall restore this vessel's vitality and remove any afflictions from it. Thank you. My great lord will be pleased with your assistance. I shall return if I need healing. There's something else. My great lord has given me a new name. From now on, I shall be known as Zira. It will be as you say, Zira. As long as I can get here, I'll be safe. Press action. Ancora Bash Zera, your health has been restored. Game saved. And that is more or less an epic. You get many more weapons, and if you'd like to see me continue playing this, let me know in the descriptions. Also, what you think. Other games like this that you like, maybe games I don't even know about, I'd like to hear whatever you have to say. I appreciate you watching, and... There's got to be a clever way to end this, but I got nothing.